Friends, delegates, and fellow citizens, I stand before you this evening with a message of confidence, strength, and hope. Four months from now, we will have an incredible victory. So tonight, with faith and devotion, I proudly accept your nomination for President of the United States. Thank you. So many people have asked me what happened. Tell us what happened, please. And therefore, I will tell you exactly what happened. And you'll never hear it from me a second time because it's actually too painful to tell. The amazing thing is that prior to the shot, if I had not moved my head at that very last instant, the assassin's bullet would have perfectly hit its mark, and I would not be here tonight. We would not be together. Tragically, the shooter claimed the life of one of our fellow Americans, Corey Comparator, unbelievable person, everybody tells me. He lost his life selflessly acting as a human shield to protect them from flying bullets. He went right over the top of them and was hit. What a fine man he was. What this administration, the damage that this administration has done, and I say it often, if you took the 10 worst presidents in the history of the United States, think of it, the 10 worst, added them up, they will not have done the damage that Biden has done. I'm only going to use the term once, Biden. I'm not going to use the name anymore, just one time. This administration can't come close to solving the problems. We're dealing with very tough, very fierce people. They're fierce people. And we don't have fierce people. We have people that are a lot less than fierce, except when it comes to cheating on elections and a couple of other things. Then they're fierce. <laughs> and we're really ready to make changes like nobody had seen before. And remember, USMCA, I got rid of NAFTA, the worst trade deal ever made, and replaced it with USMCA, which is, they say, the best trade deal ever made. Actually, probably the best trade deal was the deal I made with China, where they buy $50 billion worth of our product. They were buying nothing. They buy $50 billion worth. They had to. But I don't even talk about it because of COVID. I don't even mention it, frankly, because of what happened with the China virus. <laughs> At the center of our plan for economic relief are massive tax cuts for workers that Include something else that's turned out to be very popular, actually. Here, it's very popular. This building and all those hotels that I saw that are so nice, I'm staying in a nice one. It's called No Tax on Tips. No Tax on Tips. No Tax on Tips. Together, we will save this country. We will restore the republic and we will usher in the rich and wonderful tomorrows that our people so truly deserve America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, brighter, happier, stronger, freer, greater, and more united than ever before. And quite simply put, we will very quickly make America great again. Thank you very much.